Magra and Zeta got finally revealed on the Facebook and Instagram post with a little bit of information. So let's just go over that with a quick little news update and discuss that I think maybe the next meta is already going to be determined by one of these heroes and one of the generational two heroes. Let's go into it. Hello guys, yes, smash the like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneak, like always. And uh, Color Dragons, for some reason, have given everyone the announcement on Facebook and Instagram, and I believe Twitter as well, or X if you're one of the new kids, and basically given us this image. It doesn't give us too much, but they did add in a little bit of text, right? So Zayda is the one on the right. She's going to be the Lucky Wheel Commander. She, So you will be able to get access to her. So everyone's going to be able to unlock her if you've been saving your gems, like I've been saying in my season prep videos for you guys in the next season. And more importantly, she is a PvP mobility based hero so that means her actual talent trees when it goes into it is easily going to be very very good hopefully for archers because we've already seen the mobility tree with Frega and to be honest it didn't really suit Frega so hopefully this archer actually brings some marksman movement speed right really good it'd be really nice to see our marksman units actually moving right which is really cool but then we've got magra and magra obviously i'm just saying she's definitely the better looking at the two with her makeup looking all flat you know what i'm saying you know she's even posing for us you know she, she's got everything out but <laughs> Magra is going to be obviously the we uh, the strongest Lord event hero, right? Um, joking aside, so you are going to have to compete to get this hero. But the really cool thing about it is you're going to get a garrison and precision based talents. And I think that tells a really big story because the thing is, as you guys know, if we go into the actual game of Call of Dragons, a lot of the heroes, when you do look at their talents and stuff, gives you a really good indicator of what they're doing. So obviously, Kanara is a PvP and control based hero. And when you look at her skills, it does kind of represent that, right? She's reducing damage dealt. She's giving you some insanely good attacks for PvP. She's even giving you very solid buffs and obviously reductions for PvP, right? And we do see this kind of where I will say mobility for Frega is a little bit of an off key, but she does gain it because of the March speed bonus she has here in her fourth kit, right? But with the brand new heroes, like I say, we've got Magra with Garrison, Marksman, and Precision. And because of that, I already want to think that Magra is going to be Syndron's new best friend. Because both of these heroes are precision based heroes. Same with if you look at Guan Win, right? This is another precision based hero. And the one thing that precision based heroes have very, very in common is the fact that all of their skills are like staggered base skills or their damage they deal is either poisons or when you launch a normal attack, right? Which is very important because the thing with Syndron, and this is why I think it, when you will see tomorrow's video, Syndron is arguably going to be one of the best heroes for a very long time in this game. And the reason why is because with Archer heroes, every single future Archer hero coming out in this game, they need to be careful with what they print on their skills. Because you've got to remember, out of all the Archers, Syndron is obviously using Rapid Fire. So he's allowing himself to have that 14 attacks in that time frame which allows you to obviously double up on any potential triggers any potential damage from launching normal attacks and it goes crazy right and the cool thing is you also get this at the beginning of battle for three seconds right so you can see this guy is definitely a enabler for marksman and i always think in the future they're gonna have to be careful with what they print because if magrat has any sort of abilities similar to like Toha, right? If you look at Toha and imagine a marksman version of this hero, right? Every time we launch three normal attacks, we're going to start dealing this damage. That's crazy. Imagine you have that on an archer-based hero with Syndrome now. 
Syndrome is going to be firing off that skill so often because of how much uptime you have with the rapid fire, right? So this is why I think it's going to be very interesting to see what these new archer heroes are going to bring. And I do have actually high hopes for both of them. I think both heroes are going to be very, very good, right? And I think Zeta is actually going to be, hopefully, another replacement maybe for Frega because... The thing is, in this game, a lot of people do like Frega and think she's a great hero. But at the same time, she kind of has this, I don't know, burden on her shoulders to be in the only hero that's a Syndron Frega, right? But a lot of players know, including myself, people run Kanara and Frega and it's all right. But sometimes, you know, maybe you don't want Frega and maybe you only lock Syndron in Generation 2 of those heroes and you invest all into him. Because you're going to go for Zeta, right, instead. And you think Zeta is going to be better than Frega. And we'll soon see. We'll soon see when it all comes out. So that's the video I'm going to obviously put up on screen one last time. Just for you guys. So you can see these two beautiful new commanders. One looking like a Zendaya. You know, Zendaya from um, Spider-Man. And I don't know what Magrat looks like, you know. But both of these heroes are going to be interesting for the meta. So obviously we've got these two new archers. Hopefully, I'm guessing we might see two new cavalry or maybe infantry next just to try and keep these guys in check. And then, obviously, whatever we don't see, we'll see or hopefully majors and blah, 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 right? So, that's pretty much it. That is the two new heroes. I know you guys have probably seen it. You've now heard my two cents into them. I can't wait for them. And then I've got a little special video for when, obviously, Zayda comes out in the lucky wheel. But until then... Smash a like, comment, and subscribe. And until my next video, stay safe, guys. Stay sneaky. Peace out.